Were you friends with Mr. Taylor? Yes. Were, were you guys good friends? Yes. Were you friends with Nathan Walker? Yes. Good friends? Yes. Were you friends with Melvin Young? Yes. Good friends? Yes. Were you friends with Augustus Fontaine? Yes. Good friends? Yes. Did the five of you guys hang out on a regular basis? From time to time. Um, what about Tommy Poindexter? No. no. He would just come around. How long had you been friends with Jacaris Taylor? Probably three or four years. Um, that particular night, did you go to Jacaris Taylor's house before the crime occurred? Yes. Um, was Jacaris Taylor there? In his house? Yes. Who else was in his house? Me, Melvin, Matt, Jacaris' girlfriend. Everybody's basically described. You lived up here with your grandma. Which unit did you guys live in? Do you remember? And do you know which unit uh, Mr. Taylor lived in? The third, third one from here or the third one from the left? From the right. So one, two, three. So where the crime occurred down in here? When Tommy Poindexter came by, which direction was he coming from? Does he say something to you in that? Yes. Tell the jury what he said to you. Say we got a female at the house. We got a female at the house. I mean, you got a woman over there. What does that mean? We're gonna get something. Gonna get what sex? Yeah. Um, did Melvin give you something when you guys started to go over there? Yes. Tell the jury what Melvin gave you. Okay. When you get over to the house, how do you get into the home? Front door. And when you guys go upstairs, tell the jury what you see when you go upstairs. You see a TV flash. See the TV flashing? Not only did you know where, which room it was in the TV when you finally got up there? One to the right. One to the right. Who was in that room? Dude. Did it appear that was in the bedroom? Yeah, when I see him. Did you see anybody in his room? Not at first. Not at first? Yeah. And did you eventually get closer to the doorway where you could see into that room? Yes. And tell the jury what you saw in it. Or the car scaler? Yes. Did he have any kind of weapon? Yes. Tell the jury what he had. 45. And what was he doing with a 45? Just sitting on the bed holding. And what was he doing? Asking for the money. Was he upset? Yes. Was he crying? No, I Did he appear to be scared? Yes. Did you ever, did Jakaris Taylor ever come to you and try to get you out of the house? No. Um, did anybody prevent you from leaving that house? No. Did anybody prevent <coughs> Carlos Taylor from walking out of that house? No. Did, did anybody start hitting on Yes. And who was hitting on Tommy told you to call him. And did your cars hit him? Yeah. And how did your cars hit you? With his hands. With his hands? Yeah. Did you hear anybody? Did the threats occur a lot of times? Yeah. Did, did you have something to cover your face so that no one could identify you? Well, when you look toward it, you know, like, put me shirt up, look, but I ain't put it all over the face. Okay, but you had something to cover up to your nose? Yeah. Did Mr. Taylor have something to cover on his face? No. Yeah. Did, did you guys care what was happening to these people? What was going on? Did anybody care? I guess not if they started it. Did you care? I wasn't thinking about it. After it was over, yeah, I thought about it. At some point in time, you go into Marie's room. Yes. I told you why you went to Marie's room. To see what was going on. And when you went in that room, tell them what was going on. She was getting sexually assaulted. And tell them how she was being sexually assaulted. Who's the first person or people that's sexually assaulted her? And tell the jury where Nathan is. He was in the oral suit. And how, where was he? Was he standing up or was he laying down? Where was he? Laying on his back. On his back? Laying on her bed? Yeah. And how was Marie positioned? Is she on her hands and knees or is she laying down? Hands and knees. Hands and knees. And tell the jury what Tommy Poindexter is doing. Yeah, six and is that from her behind area? Yes. Do they finish with what they're doing with Marie? Yes. And does somebody else take their place? Yes. And tell the jury who takes their place? Yes, and, uh, 
who's, who's getting oral sex, right? and Melvin is doing the same thing Tommy was doing. Yes. You guys were having a good time. People were laughing. I wasn't laughing. Were other people laughing? Yeah. Were they saying things to Marie? Yeah, Tommy. They thought Tommy was They were saying to him. It's your, it's your IQ. Did you see anything about the gun being inserted to Marie? Were you there when the gun was? No. So now we have uh, Gus Fontaine's getting oral sex, and Melvin is mounting her from behind. And then what happens after those two finish? Then I go. Then you go, and where do you go? And is she still on her hands and knees? Yeah. Is she crying? Yeah. Was she saying anything? I don't feel like she was begging for her life. Yeah. Did you ever see Laura Taylor in a second party? No. What, what's Marie wearing? Well, she's being raped. Does she have anything on? White nightgown. Black nightgown? White. A white nightgown? Were you still there when she was brought into the bathroom? Yes. Who's the one that brought her into the bathroom? Tony told Nathan rang the bell. And, and just so the jury remembers, Nathan's your good buddy, right? Yes. Just like Mr. Taylor is. What happens when Marie goes into the bathroom? Tony told her getting back to her. Did she do that? Yes. And then what happened when she got in? Did she have any clothing on? Yeah, at first. Nathan told her to take it off. And did she take it off? Yeah. And you sure it was Tommy that told Nathan to put her in there? Yeah. Not some other guy you don't know. And are you sure that Tommy went to go get in the room in the bathroom? Yes. By the time he gets to the bathroom, does he still have his clothing on? Yes. What happened to his clothing? Tommy told him to pick it up. Did he do that? Yes. And what happened? I told him to get in the bathroom. And then what happened when he's in the bathroom? He's gone. Did anybody say anything about uh, worry about leaving evidence behind? Yeah. Who, who said that? Yes. Gus. And it was, did Gus say that before they were pouring chemicals on them? Right, right before. Right before. Who was the one that, that told them to have sex? Huh? Who's the one that threw the bookshelf on top of them? Who's the one that jumped on the bookshelf or, or was stomping on that while was on top of them? Uh, was your car there still? Yeah. You were outside the bathroom and you saw your car outside the bathroom? I believe it was right, uh, right beside you. And so you both can look right in there and see what's going on. And at that point in time, what prevents you guys from leaving? that went to look for a lighter to light them on fire? So we told Jakar to look for one. Jakar still look for one? Yeah. What did Jakar say when he got back? Yeah, he couldn't find one. 